Welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayer. My name is Canon Andrew Wheaton here at St Luke's Walls End, which stands on Awabakal land. And we pay respects to elders past, present and emerging. Our psalm today is 74 and our reading from the letter to the Philippians chapter 1 beginning at the 12th verse. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to our God. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ, and raised us up with him, and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 74 O Lord, our God, why cast us off so utterly? Why does your anger burn against the sheep of your pasture? Remember your congregation, whom you took to yourself of old, the people that you redeemed to be your own possession, and Mount Zion where you have dwelt. Rouse yourself and go to the utter ruins, to all the harm that the enemy has done in the sanctuary. Your adversaries have made uproar in the place appointed for your praise. They have set up their standards in triumph. They have destroyed on every side, like those who take axes up to a thicket of trees. All the carved woodwork they have broken down and smashed it with hammers and hatchets. They have set fire to your sanctuary and defiled to the ground the dwelling place of your name. They have said in their hearts, let us make havoc of them. They have burned down all the holy places of God in the land. We see no signs, there is not one prophet left. There is none who knows how long these things shall be. How long shall the adversary taunt you, O God? Shall the enemy blaspheme your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand? Why do you keep your right hand in your bosom? Yet God is my King from of old, who wrought deliverance upon the earth. You divided the sea by your might. You shattered the heads of dragons in the waters. You crushed the heads of Leviathan and gave him as food to the creatures of the desert waste. You cleft open spring and fountain. You dried up the overflowing waters. The day is yours, and so also is the night. You have established the the moon and the sun. You set all the boundaries of the earth. You created winter and summer. Remember, O Lord, the taunts of the enemy. How a mindless people have blasphemed your name. Do not give to the wild beasts the soul that praises you. Do not forget forever the life of your afflicted. Look on all that you have made, for it is full of darkness and violence inhabits the earth. Let not the oppressed and reviled turn away rejected, but let the poor and needy praise your name. Arise, O God, plead your own cause. Remember how a mindless people taunt you all day long. Do not forget the clamour of your adversaries, or how the shouting of your enemies ascends continually. Lord our God, our Creator, Redeemer and Sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love, and to confirm us in holiness now and forever. Amen. A reading 
from the letter of St Paul to the Philippians. I want you to know, beloved, that what has happened to me has actually helped to spread the gospel, so that it has become known throughout the whole imperial guard, and to everyone else, that my imprisonment is for Christ. And most of the brothers and sisters, having been made confident in the Lord by my imprisonment, dare to speak the word with greater boldness and without fear. Some proclaim Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. These proclaim Christ out of love, knowing that I have been put here for the defence of the gospel. The others proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but intending to increase, increase my suffering in my imprisonment. What does it matter? Just this, that Christ is proclaimed in every way, whether out of false motives or true, and in that I rejoice. Yes, and I will continue to rejoice, for I know that through your prayers and the help of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, this will turn out for my deliverance. It is my eager expectation and hope that I will not be put to shame in any way, but that by my speaking with all boldness, Christ will be exalted now as always in my body, whether by life or by death. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. O Lord, you have taught us that all our doings without love are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of love, the true bond of peace and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for your only Son, Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. As we begin this new day, we uplift to God all the intentions of our hearts and minds for the needs of the church and the world. We pray for the first peoples of this diocese, especially the Awabakal, Biripai, Darkenjung, Kiwagal, Kamilaroi, Waramai, and Wanarua peoples. We pray for peace throughout the world and for leadership in our own nation, for the Prime Minister and Cabinet. In the church, we pray for Bishop Peter Stewart and Nikki, Assistant Bishops Sonia and Charlie, for Leslie Jordan, Chief of Staff. Alison Delmazzoni, Senior Executive Assistant. In the wider church, we pray for the Archbishop of Canterbury, Justin Welby. In the National Church, we pray for the Diocese of Adelaide and Archbishop Jeff Smith. And in our own diocese, we pray for our Cathedral and Dean Catherine Bowyer with David and Reverend David Cole and Sue. Pray for the parishes of Adamstown and Chris Bird, All Saints Anew, with Archde Archdeacon Arthur Copeman. We pray for the parishes in which we live. 
We pray for all those with a vocation to share the good news of Jesus Christ. We pray for those in our community afflicted by COVID, newly infected or recovering, and especially for doctors, nurses, caregivers at this difficult time. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power, protect us from sin, guard us from every kind of danger, and in all we do this day, direct us in the fulfilling of your purpose, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us peace. Amen.